You know, I hear the queue for this prata can sometimes be up to two hours long. But you know Singaporeans, la, the longer the queue, the better the food. Hi! Hi, Mona! Hey, thank you. Wow, this looks amazing. Hey, why don't you sit down and join me? Come. Maybe tell us a little bit about the family legacy, being a family-run business. I think my initial struggle was because my dad set such a high expectation, it was initially hard to achieve it. And unfortunately, I only took over after he passed on. So I didn't really have much of the knowledge. So initially, I was still like winging it and figuring out what was closest to him. Then um, thanks to like the regular customers who kept like, you know, giving their feedbacks and comments and they kept motivating me. Then yeah, so now I can make almost as good as him. That's wonderful to hear. I mean, it tastes amazing. And also the thing I want to ask you is, what brings you the most joy working here? So I enjoy being in the kitchen and it's nice to see that you know everyone eating your prata and like no one is throwing anything away. That keeps me going. As a young hawker, right? I mean, what do you see the future of your family business like? This is something that will continue because it's uh, like for the memory of my dad and even my mom. So yeah, like I will continue to be in the kitchen to do my best and keep up my dad's standard. That's wonderful to hear. Well, I am going to taste your amazing prata right now. Mm. You know, it's so wonderful to see the flavour so closely associated with home being passed down through the generations. Mm. Where should we go next? <laughs>